Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Overlander, this time on the Amstrad CPC. I did review this on the Commodore 64, I didn't particularly like it too much, and immediately this is screaming ZX Spectrum Bolt, which I am not looking forward to playing. Um, right. It, it, it did give us an option there. We can refund the keys. Or redefine our keys, I should say. Right, let's do that. Right, right, left. Decelerate, accelerate, fire. Special weapon, enter. Now that's something I didn't know, didn't know how to activate on the Commodore 64. Right, now I know how to activate on the Amstrad. Let's play the game. So we get um, a mission here, secret document or counterfeit money. Let's go for secret documents and price per unit. Right, so we've got to judge how much fuel we want to put in the car. Let's start the Commodore. So, but you can't, you can't go backwards. You can't say right. I want. I'll put too much in. No, you can't do that. Right. Let's go for that. Now we can upgrade. Put upgrade. So, how much money have we got? Oh my goodness, this is really unresponsive. Um, how much money? Oh, it's right at the top there. Two thousand eight hundred. So you get more. You get more money on this. You do on the Commodore sixty four version, right? Let's get a turbocharger. Um, flamethrower. Oh, this is really unresponsive. Right, so we've still got 1,300. Bulletproof in. Right, 300 left. Let's, let's go to finish and let's... Oh, God! Yeah, blatantly, it's a fucking Spectrum port. We can all see that. It's going 160 miles an hour. It doesn't fucking look like it, does it? My car looks very boxy. Graphic, yeah, as I say, it's a Spectrum port, but this is going to sound weird. But I ain't gonna say it just yet. Let's see if we can get further into the game. So we got sound effects in this version, unlike the Commodore 64 version where it was just music. But the music did sound absolutely brilliant. But with with games like this, I much rather have sound effects. So the CPC gets it there because. Racing driving games, racing, well, driving shoot 'em up games as we've got here. I much rather have sound effects. But it's always good to have the option, which I don't think we have. Oh, 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 oh. Weirdly, as I've said before, I actually think I prefer this version to the Commodore 64 version. In spite, it is a fucking Spectrum port. Oh my goodness. I think it actually does play better than the Commodore 64 version. My bullets. Still got my special weapon. I'm certainly lasting longer than the Commodore 64 version, and this is still my first go. 
So it's definitely easier than the Commodore 64 version. But it still ain't gonna get fucking full full points from me being a spectrum ball. I mean it might get a good haul of points being playable. I mean the controls yeah they're not too bad. They respond. And I've exploded. Oh, you bastard! So we've got undulation in this game. I can't Do we have undulation on the Commodore 64 version? I can't remember. I need. Oh, I've got bullets again. Now, if this was a budget title. I probably would have played this back in the day. But if this was a full price game, it no, nah, it wouldn't be worth it. And the main reason why it's a fucking spectrum pool. But as for a spectrum pool, it's it's playable. It's playable. And I, as I said before, I think if I had this back in the day, I think I would have played it. Yes, it's a rip off of Roadblaster. Fuck's sake, got hit by a motorbike. It's definitely a blatant rip off of Roadblasters. I ain't got no special weapon, but it's definitely more playable than the Commodore 64 version. Oh, for fuck's sake! Game over, so you only get, obviously like Commodore 64, you only got a limited amount of lives. Right, let's have another go. Alright. So I have to wait for the menu screen to come up. Right, start, start game. Let's go for a counterfeit money. Right, I think we start off with more money here. Alright, oh, I've got to put fuel in the car. Let's top it all the way up. Yeah, you do get more money on this version than you do on the Commodore 64 version. This bit's really unresponsive though. Right, so I've got um, how much money? I've got 2,200. Um, so let's go for bulletproofing. I don't know, twice maybe. So I'm down to $200. What can I buy for two hundred dollars? Absolutely fuck all. Right, here we go. So I'm topped up with fuel. Perhaps every time I do a stage, you get the option to top up with more fuel. You get bonus money, so you can upgrade your car. I do like that fact that you can upgrade your car with weapons. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, a motorbike goes into the side of me and the... What's happened to my bulletproof? Oh, it's bulletproofing. It's not fucking motorbike proof though, is it? Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's, it's, it's playable, certainly playable for a Spectrum pool. But I could have done much better with this. 
I mean, I've played a lot worse Spectrum pumps, believe me. Oh, what fucking got me there? Bulletproofing, I bought bulletproofing. Why did it fucking blow up? Accelerate, you bastard. Yeah, 160 miles an hour, looks like it's only doing about 20. So it is slow, but maybe that goes towards it instead of against it. So I can bump, bump, bump off the cars. But when I hit a motorbike, it explodes. Yeah, I can't work that one out either. I blew up the motorbike, so... What is that noise? Is that a skidding noise? Oh, it looks like a 4x4. Four four. Well, it was a 4x4. Four four. I blew it up. Like a nice bit of road there with nothing going on. Oh, we've got a hill coming. Oh, here comes a car. 4x4. Four It me it just reminds me a little bit like Outrun with the colour of the choice of the road, even though it's not as green, not bright green, but I suppose it can represent we're going through a grass track or something like that. It, I mean, the title is Overlander, remember, but well, that can mean anything. Oh, it's ah, come on. I'm going to hit the fucking bastard. Right. Come on, go, go, accelerate. Fucking hell, it takes forever to accelerate. Right, now that car's in front of me. I'm still f topped up with fuel, my fuel. I mean, this thing gets good fuel economy. I've got to give it that. Fuel's hardly gone down. I'm still like I've got somewhere in this game. Perhaps I put too much fuel in it. Until you play this game a few times, then you can start judging how much fuel you actually need. Obviously, I probably don't need all that fuel at the moment, being the first level. could have kitted it out with more weapons. Yeah, you can bump off the cars, but you can't... You, can, you can blow up if you hit a motorbike. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, a car was trying to ram him into the park car, the park car, the smashed car, the overturned cars. Oh, it can run into the overturned cars. Okay. There's another one, but we can shoot them. Then they just speed off, so we must have the slowest car on the game. This is so slow. No, it's not. I'm not saying it's so slow. It's not too slow. But it certainly ain't going 160 miles an hour. I mean, the frame rate isn't too bad. Oh, 
Oh, come on, he bounced me into a parked car. Fucking overturned car, rather. Oh, I've still got another life. Come on, go, go. I can't remember how many lives you get. I think you get about four lives. Effect. And to be honest, I'd rather play Road Blasters because I did my Road Blasters on the CPC. I did have that one back in the day. But yeah, I, I would have played this. I would have played it if I had it back in the day. Because even back in the day, I would not. I, I would not have realised the Spectrum ball. I did place my mate at a ZX Spectrum, but this is when I did not know anything about Spectrum ports. So back in the day, I wouldn't have thought it was a Spectrum port because oh, I've got the level! Excellent! Yeah, I still I still had way too much fuel in the car, but now I, you know later now I know about Spectrum ports. Yeah, it's not very good. It's just laziness. Right, so now we got the FBI, federal official, official, federal official, or kidnapped official. Let's go for the FBI. Right, let's go for half tank. Right, super brakes, no. How much have I got? Wow, we've got a lot of money, so we can go. Oh. Lean burner. Well, that sounds interesting, actually. Oh. Why is that so unresponsive? Oh, it's changed colour. Snake Canyon, here we go. So I think this is still my last life, but at least we got off level one. Unlike, unlike the Commodore 64 version, like we hardly got nowhere. Yeah, so this version is a lot more easier and it's definitely more playable. Ah, oh, well I didn't blow up that time, but I must have shot it in time. Oh, fuck it. Game over. Well, we'll leave that one there. At least I've got off level one on this version. Um, yes, it's a spectrum pool, but... It's playable, it's okay, you know, it's okay. I'd much rather play this version than the Commodore 64 version, let's put it this way. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.